Hi, I'm Tim Vandergriff from Midwest Supplies and Master Vintner. Today I'm doing a final tasting on our long-term grape skin experiment. I constructed this experiment using two grape skin kits. One of them I fermented exactly according to the instructions. The other one I left on the skins for an extended period of time. This is a technique used in grape wine making that gives more refined tannins and a more mature taste to the wine at a younger age sometimes. So, these are two wines I'm going to taste blind. Uh, I don't know what they are. They've been served to me separately. I do know that they are different from one another. It's not a triple blind triangle type tasting. I just want to compare uh, the results of this um, sort of more or less subjectively to see what I like. Afterwards, I'm going to look up which one it is and we'll see. Starting off with the first wine, it's got a beautiful, deep, rich color. Deep red, ruby highlights, very nice, very clear. <sighs> Huge impact of fruit. This has got hints of dried fruit. Mm, the oak comes through, smoky, toasty, vanilla, hints of honey, plums, <sighs> dark berries. This is really rich. This is a very big wine. First attack on the palate, very ripe fruit. There is, oh, an incredible bunch of blackberries, ripe strawberry, and very ripe, almost, almost super ripe black raspberry in there. Very rich, well supported by the oak structure and tannin. A long finish that's drying, but it's not, uh, it's not too astringent. It's a nice smooth tannic finish. The appearance of the second one is very similar. Same great dark hue. I can't really see any difference between the two. This one may have a touch lighter highlights to it. Uh, that's about all that I can say. Very similar, as I would expect, despite the extended contact in one of them. Now that's a very different aroma. Less effusive fruit, a little more structure, seems a little, little less, um, uh, buoyantly fruity or as exuberant as the first one. But still, there's some nice raspberry in there. A little hint of cherry. Good ripe sweet fruit. The attack on the palate is much different. This is a much more structured wine. It is drier. The tannin seems very fully evolved uh, and it's mixing beautifully with the oak. Together the two of them are giving this long seamless flavor finish. It's not just a drying oak on the palate, it's not, not just the, the tannin winding out. There is a great palette of fruit characters from ripe red raspberry to uh, there's a, a kind of almost a grapey hint to it that's very pleasant and, and unusual. And the wine itself seems very elegant, very silky, very structured. All right, as I suspected, this is in fact the extended grapeskin maceration kit. It is altogether a different wine. Uh, this is fine. This is, no, it's more than fine. It's, it, that's damning it with faint praise. That is a great bottle of wine. That would be perfect with any a uh, meat dish, a stew, a, a well-grilled steak. Uh, Italian dishes would be fantastic. Charcuterie would be an excellent choice. Uh, the, the effusive fruit and the good structure is going to stand up to a wide variety of extremely flavorful stuff. Barbecue is probably going to really sing with this. This wine is clearly superior. Uh, the flavor is more subdued. You have to look for it a bit more. I think that if this is let breathe, they'll even out a little bit. The fruit in this will stop being so uh, effusive and come down uh, just to smooth out a little. And this one will probably open up and give a little bit more fruit over the course of the next hour or so. I have to say, this is knocking my socks off. I can't believe the difference between these two wines simply based on an extra couple of months uh, contact with the skin. And it's a very simple technique. Anybody can do it. Heck, I did, just uh, on a whim. Uh, if you've got the time to wait, 
extended maceration on grape skins is definitely a huge win for your wine. I couldn't be happier with how this experiment turned out. Both of these wines are excellent. When you make wine from one of our kits, you're going to have a great result first time and every time. On the other hand, with a modification of techniques that's as simple as leaving it in contact with the skins for an extended period, you can get results that will personalize that wine and make it truly spectacular. Thanks for watching. I'm Tim Vattigriff for Master Vintner and Midwest Supplies. Remember, with Master Vintner, you can uncork something special and make it your own.